Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Shannon Roy Horchek. I'm a partner at PricewaterhouseCoopers, and I'm joined today by David Marks, who is Director of Internal Audit at Enbridge Inc. So welcome, David, and thank you for joining us today. No, thanks for having me, Shannon. This is great. Okay. Excellent. So you've had a very interesting and successful career. So maybe you could talk a little bit about your career path, what you've done, what you're doing today, and maybe specifically comment on how your experiences or what you learned at PwC have shaped the career that you have. Uh, there's a couple of aspects. So one of them is, is probably one of the more defining moments in my internal audit history, which was, and he's still a partner there, uh, he used to run uh, the internal audit for Southeast Asia for a huge integrated oil and gas company. Right. Um, and he sat me down and really showed me how to use the COSO cube on how to identify risk and where to focus internal audit time. So when you think about external financial audit, it's really one slice. And when you talk about internal audit, it's the whole gambit. Mm -hmm. And I think where he helped me is we used to run audits and run amok and run wild. He did a good job of helping us identify where on the cube we were focused and what the risks in that section of the cube were. And it, I still talk to my team about it today. So lessons that you've carried into your career now. Uh, yeah, so you know when I thought about the things that I've carried forward from PwC, the technical stuff is great. Leadership time that got spent with me and really some of those X factor pieces that, that they taught me. Not just the hard skills, but the soft skills as right. well. Yeah, right. yeah. So people are really, you know, at the heart of our business. And right now our business is being disrupted primarily by technology, uh, other things as well, but technology yeah. is really the heart of that. And so we're really working from within to make sure that we've aligned our people and our technology so that we're still creating those great experiences and doing the right things for our clients. Disruption creates opportunity as well, and a lot of companies now are embracing that disruption and looking at how it might change their business. So maybe you can comment a little bit about the changes that you're seeing in your industry and how that's putting you know, your company really at the, at the forefront of those changes. Uh, we're on that journey now, and we're starting to head down that road. So recently we have a new CIO, um, and he's got some exciting ideas. He's, he's talking about technology as a strategic enabler. And that excites me. And we're starting to really treat data now as, as an asset. So a long time ago, we weren't treating it as an asset. It was just the data they're in. Uh, but we're just exploring this journey. We're getting onto it. I know there's some data scientists down in IT. Yeah. And you have to dictate why you don't use data analytics now. It's not about whether you use it. Wow, that's a great perspective. Yeah. And it drives a different behavior yeah. from, from your yeah. team, which is great. And they're actually getting excited about it now. So but that visualization and manipulation of the data in real time, mm -hmm. it actually gets people excited to use it and talk about it. You know, we've employed that in my group. We've started looking at robotics and we've talked about it a little bit. Um, so being at the forefront of it. I, I would say I hopefully we're at the forefront. Yeah. We do our best. Well, thank you very much. We really appreciated that. I hope you enjoyed the interview. Yeah, thanks a lot, Shannon. Appreciate it.